All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Virtual Jiu-Jitsu for Cops. Uh, I am your co-host. My name is Erica Chadwick with TAC Mobility and super pumped about this. On the line with me, my co-host is Professor Josh Bowling out of Resilience, Resilient Jiu-Jitsu out of Visalia, California. It's a mouthful. <laughs> How's it going? Thanks so much for joining us today. Josh, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and who you have with you today? Yeah, of course. Uh, my name is Josh Bowling. I'm a first degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Mauricio Chinguilla Mariano. I am also the owner here of uh, Resilience BJJ in Visalia, California, like you said. Uh, in addition to that, I work for a, uh, a large agency here in California, a law enforcement agency. Uh, I've been a full-time police officer for just over 20 years now, uh, 17 years of those with my current agency. Uh, I was lucky enough to work a variety of assignments. Uh, for about the past four years now, I've worked at our regional training center where I'm lead instructor for defensive tactics, use of force, and any kind of use of force articulation. Um, I'm also one of the department's uh, use of force experts, so I'm pretty up to date with the constitutional law, statutory law, that sort of thing that we have to operate, all the parameters uh, that we have to follow, right, with, uh, within law enforcement. So um, that's my job, that's my day job, and then I'm here uh, teaching classes at nighttime. And then as far as who I have helped me out today, uh, two of my students, I have Courtney over here. Uh, Courtney's background, just a little bit about her. She's been training with me for about a month, right? It's about a Two months, about two months now. Uh, prior to coming to me, she uh, she did CrossFit or still does CrossFit. Uh, she's a single mom and she came to train with me uh, for a variety of reasons. One of them being that she's a paramedic, so a first responder. And in talking to her, she's had to use self-defense techniques and kind of defend herself against some of the patients that she's out there to help, All right? So that's why she's here today to help me out. And then to my left here, I have Laura. Uh, Laura's been training with me for about three months, I'd say. Uh, she's a personal trainer, power lifter, uh, real strong girl. And uh, she came to me to start training because she's a single mom and uh, lives alone, right? So she wants to uh, be able to take care of herself and defend herself if uh, hope, hopefully it never rises, but if the need does. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Super glad to have you. Uh, like I mentioned, my name is Erica from TAC Mobility. I created a resiliency and a de-escalation training program that is just for cops, okay? Um, any first responder can benefit from the training that I provide, but I built this program based around the nuances of law enforcement officers. Uh, training with me today is gonna be Josh Auer, um, he's an investigator out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He's a canine handler, as well as a SISM officer. So peer support, he knows the feelings. Um, <laughs> and uh, he also trains out, where do you train out of again? Uh, Fredson Paisal Academy in Las Vegas, Nevada as well. Okay, um, I'm, I have zero experience. So this will be interesting. So if you're joining us with no experience, you're in good company. Uh, Josh, I'm going to turn it over to you. Tell us about what we're doing and then we'll get into it. Yeah, of course. So uh, what we're going to be doing today, um, well, kind of a little background, I guess. I'll start off there. So I got in touch with Erica from Tag Mobility and, you know, we have common interests, right? So we started talking trying to figure out a way that we can help law enforcement first responders, you know, with my background and her background. And uh, I got to be honest, her first idea wasn't my favorite. Uh, she told me I need to put on one of my cute keys and do some stretches. So uh, uh, I didn't really like that. Um, so uh, we came up with this idea, right? So I'll give her the credit. It was her idea to uh, put this little mini series of self-defense classes together. So uh, what we did was we took my experience in martial arts. Uh, again, I've been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for about 17 years now. Um, that experience, in addition to my law enforcement experience and as a full-time instructor for the past four years, you know, teaching this kind of stuff to a lot of different uh, agencies throughout California. We took a lot of that and we built this mini series, right? So it's meant to build off of each other. So it's gonna be a three-part mini series and each one is gonna start off with the basics, right? They're just gonna keep adding to it. So uh, I said it the other day on the Instagram uh, interview we did that, um, you know, if you're a black belt, cool, right? You're gonna learn from this. If you're somebody fresh off the couch, has zero experience, Cool, you're still going to learn from this, right? So it's meant to uh, benefit everybody, right? So not just um, law enforcement, first responders, um, anybody looking for self-defense. That's what we're uh, looking to do, right? And uh, with this stuff, I got to say, you know, I'm not trying to recreate the wheel by any stretch of the imagination, right? 
uh, self-defense, martial arts have been around for thousands of years. So I'm not creating anything new, but I'm taking it with the experience I have in my background and putting it into one little package for everybody, right? So we're not gonna try to create grapplers off of a video series. I don't believe in that, especially off a three part mini series, right? Uh, it's just too hard, right? Without the hands on. Uh, it's beneficial, it's supplemental training, it's great, but you have to put in the time, you have to put in the effort to keep training it, right? Watching this series one time is not gonna make you proficient. You know, I tell everybody, I've been all over the world for jujitsu for 17 years, training, competing all over the place. I spent time in Romania training with the Romanian national judo team. And I still don't feel proficient in my skills. I'm constantly working on them. I train, I teach six days a week. And just like anything in our job in law enforcement, you know, it's perishable. You got to continue to work on it. So uh, whether it be uh, your understanding of case law, you know, your firearm skills, your hands-on techniques, it's got to be practiced. And uh, these mini series and the fact that we're going to upload them to YouTube, they're always going to be accessible. So um, I think it's going to be uh, real good. I think it's going to help out a lot of people out there. So um, that being said, I'm ready to get into it. If you guys are. Do it. Go. All right, cool. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to teach you guys, uh, Erica, you and Josh, you two ladies uh, to my left and right, and everybody watching. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys like you guys are in my academy, learning from me in a regular class. Okay? Yes. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demo the techniques, okay? That's not your time to do it. I'll demo it. Your time to do it is whenever I bring these ladies up and they're going to start practicing, okay? So let me do it, demo it. I'll talk about it, explain what it is while we're doing it, and then you guys get the chance to practice. Cool? Okay. All right, so let you guys turn around so you can watch me. All right, so all the warm-ups that we're doing are going to be beneficial for the techniques that we're doing today. All right, so it may look crazy, some of the stuff we're doing. Uh, it may be abnormal, okay? It look um, kind of uh, not really what you're used to for warm-ups. I guess it's the nicest way I can put it. But it all has a basis in the techniques that we're going to do, okay? So one of the very first things you have to learn, doesn't matter what you're doing, part of self-defense is properly falling, all right? Nobody wants to go out on the concrete and learn how to practice falling. We have these nice padded mats. So we're going to practice good technique. We're going to start from the ground up. Uh, later in the series, I'll show you how to do it from a full standing position, okay? But we're going to baby step it, okay? So I'm going to talk about break falls, backward break falls specifically. So there's some very fine tune, uh, fine enough points that you have to understand, right? Whenever you do this, it sounds easy just falling, but there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So watch me and I'll talk to you about it. Let me show it from the uh, front view first. So we're going to start off here, okay? Feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to go to a squatted position. Again, we're not going to do it from standing. Squatting, okay? To help you, we're gonna cross our arms here. Chin tuck to protect our head from hitting the ground. Okay, then we're gonna roll on our back. As we roll on the back, we're gonna slap the mats, palms down, arms not out like a T, arms not down by our side, more like a 45 degree angle, okay? To simplify it. Okay, so that's gonna take a lot of the impact away as you slap the mat. It's still the same if you hit the concrete, okay? So it looks like this. Feet about shoulder width apart, bend, arms crossed, chin tuck. Okay, as I roll back, I slap the mat, boom here, okay? So now the tendency for anybody that's done jiu-jitsu or judo is they're gonna let their legs fly, okay? In a self-defense situation, it's no good, okay? Somebody that's attacking us can grab our legs, push them to the side. We need our feet as a barrier, okay? We need them to strike or to stop somebody from encroaching on us, okay? So when we fall, our feet stay here, ready to move if we need it, okay? So do it one more time, here. Feet shoulder width apart, arms crossed, chin tuck, roll, top the mat, control your feet, okay? One time from the side view, here, cross arms, chin tuck, roll, top the mat, control your feet. All good, any questions? All right, cool, so let's do it. So I'm gonna bring the ladies up, they're gonna do it for me, and I'll have you guys, I'll watch you guys. Okay. All right, when you guys are ready, go ahead. Oh, good. <laughs> Look at you, Erica, you're pro already. Oh, All right, keep going, girl. Keep, keep going. going. No? Keep going on your own. Let's just wrap it out. Let's just wrap it out. Keep going. Oh, they went up again. I can't stop doing it. Oh, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's good, Erica. Just move your arms out a little bit more from your body, not so close to your legs. Yep. Just go ahead, Josh. I just see the importance of the roll. Yeah, right? I just literally just flat on my back right there. I can imagine like if it was concrete, that would like do major damage. Right. That's where you learn how to do it properly, right? <laughs> Good. Good. Let's go and stop right there. Let's move on. Okay. All right, let's move on. We'll get some practice done. Like I said. Easy concept, practicing falling down, right? But you saw there's a lot that goes into it. Hit your head, things like that. So next thing we're gonna do, the very first position, we're gonna start off on the ground, okay? We're gonna scream on our legs, we're gonna circle our legs, okay? Eight beaters, some people call them, okay? And then we're gonna move up to our elbows and hands. Elbows and hands are more for the warm up side of it, okay? The self-defense side is where we're gonna be on our backs. So it'll look like this, okay? I'm gonna be on my back and I'll start off with my arms just on my chest, okay? I'll circle my legs one way, knees wide. Okay, knees wide, then I go the other way. So if you look at this from a self-defense aspect, if somebody grabs my foot, boom, I circle to break that grip, right? I don't push, pull, I circle to break that grip. Okay, here. Now, without touching the ground with my feet, I rock up. Here, from the elbows. Without touching the ground, rock up, go to my hands. Here, okay, so now from the other view, I'll start off with my hands up, down to elbows, go one way, go the other way, the back, arms crossed. Here. Okay, any questions? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Start off on your back, arms crossed, cross your chest, okay? Open your knees as wide as you can. Circle one way, circle the other way. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is also going to test your coordination. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come up to our elbows. Don't cut, touch the ground. Come up to your elbows. Knees wide. Circle, 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 circle. Okay, go back the other way. All right, up to hands. Don't touch the ground, rock up your hands. Circle, oh, circle, 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 circle. <laughs> Knees wide. Oh, uh, we're losing some coordination on Erica. I'm gonna point it out. Okay, wait. <laughs> All right, go the other way. All right, good, good. All right, let's move on. All right, so now we're gonna do what we call a hip drag forward and backward, okay? So I'll show it from the side first here, okay? So now I'm gonna do it in place. When we do it in our classes as part of the warm up, we'll go up or down the mat, okay? But just to save uh, space, we'll do it right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a good structure, okay? It's always important, okay? My right hand's gonna be my posted hand. I'm not gonna go out to the side, okay? The reason being is if somebody pushes my left shoulder or I try to stop and they put pressure on my left hand, I'm gonna fall, okay? So I'm take my right hand and hide it behind my body here, okay? Chest up, head up, spine in line, okay, like this. Okay, this, now if somebody ever pushed me, okay, I have a post, almost like a bicycle's um, kickstand, right here, okay? Now my right leg is all the way on the ground. My left knee is bent, obviously. I'm gonna take my left elbow, put it on the inside of my left knee here, pushing out, okay? My hand stays up here, all right? So this is how it's gonna look like, okay? My feet are, I don't know, about a foot away from my butt, okay? Because that's the ground that I'm gonna cover. So I'm gonna pull with my left foot, push off with my hand. So I'm gonna go from here, simply slide forward like that, okay? Keep my hand up here, and you'll see why the importance of having this hand up uh, in a little bit when we get to the technique, okay? So now backwards, now there's no space. My heels are basically touching my butt. I stay in line here, chest up, spine in line, and I go backward, push back. My leg is still on the ground, okay? Now I can go back forward, and I can go backwards, okay? Now we don't just go one way, okay? So we gotta go both sides. So from here, I'll do it facing the camera so you can see. I'm here, here. okay, close that distance. Okay, I can go back to this side now, okay? I go back, now I can go forward. Switch, back, forward, switch, back, 
forward, right? So whichever leg's on the ground, the other leg's gonna be posted up here, and I have this frame here. Okay, my other hand's gonna be posted. Questions? All right, let's do it. All right, so let's start off going forward. So keep your feet a little bit away from your body. Okay, leg on the ground. Slide forward, close that distance. Okay, now switch knees. Drop your other knee to the ground. Now let's go backward. Back. Okay, forward. Good, try to slide, don't hop, switch knees. Back. Forward. All right, switch knees. My arm is my there you go. staying still, or am I moving that with me? That uh, your hand that's up. Okay, put that on the inside of your knee here, and it stays right here to protect against sprites and things like that. It should stay pretty much there the whole time. Okay. That hand is close, and it'll walk with you, so you can move it. Okay. Yeah, right, do it a few more times on your own. Go ahead. Why is my brain so weird? <laughs> All right, good, good. Let's go and stop right there. Let's move on. Okay, you get more practice with that stuff. Okay, now we're gonna do what we call a uh, technical stand-up, okay? Everything in jujitsu has multiple names, we call it technical stand-up, okay? So you might know it as something different. Okay, now it's just a safe way of standing up from that hip drag position here, okay? So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it, okay? If somebody were attacking me, Okay, I wouldn't be doing this to get up, right? As soon as I do that, boom, I'm gonna take one upside the head. Okay, so I need to keep this distance and protect myself if need be. Okay, that's why this hand is here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show going to the knee first. And then once you get the hang of that, then we'll go to a standing position. So if it helps you, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knee and almost touch my hand with it. Okay, I'm not uh, literally gonna touch it, but if I kind of keep that in the back of my mind and pull it towards that direction, it'll help. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna lift my body up with my posted hand behind me. Okay, I'm here, my back is still in line. I don't ever look at the mat and look at the person that's trying to hurt me, right, I'm here. So I lift up, I'm just gonna put my knee right here on the ground. Okay, from here I can spring up, okay, if I need to. And when I'm ready, I can stand up, just turn my knee and stand up here. Right now I'm in a back, uh, back into a standing position. Okay, so to the knee is here from that hip drag position. Lift your body off the ground, looking at the person that's about to hurt you, okay? Lift, bring my knee back. See where my knee is almost by my hand? Okay, now I can start standing up here. How do you need to stand up, right? If you need to move your foot a little bit different than I am, totally fine, right? As long as you keep that good structure when you're doing it, okay? Everybody's body type is a little bit different. So we'll start off doing that. I don't want to confuse anybody, so I'm going to baby step it because, uh, I don't want to take a base knowledge for granted. I want to make sure you guys have this. So we're here, this way, okay? Lift your hips up, bring your knee back here, okay? Now when I'm ready, I can stand up this way. Cool. All right, let's do it. Start off in that hip drag position. Okay, use that posted hand behind you. Lift your hips up off the ground. Slide your knee back to the ground. There you go. Back up, okay, now stand all the way up. There you go, keep your spine in line the entire time. Visualize, think about somebody's trying to attack you right now, right? You're not gonna lean forward, you're not gonna be off balance leaning back, okay? Keep everything in line. Okay, go ahead. On your own, run through it. Try both sides. Go one side, go the other side. Good. I like this one. <laughs> Because I got to do it. Is that your favorite? Good. All right, good. Let's stop there. Let me show you the next one, which is the same but different. Okay? If that makes sense. So, we're here, okay? So now, if I have the distance, okay, and I have the flexibility and uh, the ability just to stand up, that's what I'm going to do. Okay? So, this is easy to come here, here. 
Okay, but if I can lift my hips and go to the standing position right away, that's ideal, right? It's faster, I create that space much quicker. So from here, okay, I'm gonna lift my hips up off the ground. Same thing, there's no, nothing touching the ground. Okay, I lift up, and I slide back here. Okay, so as I lift up, I kind of hop almost, hop back. So again, instead of my knee coming close to my hand, my foot almost touches my hand. Okay, hope you guys can see from here. Okay, I go here, I lift up, I slide back, almost hopping. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult. So some people might have a problem with it. So if you do, just drop to the knee, that's fine. Okay, but we go here, lift up, come all the way up, keep my back in line. Because again, somebody coming towards me, I don't want to lean forward, okay, or be off balance. Driving forward with the, uh, or back with the hips, chest forward the entire time. All right, let's do this one. All right, on your own, go ahead. Post up, there you go, slide back. Keep, yeah, good. Good, Josh, just like that. Good, control your stand up. Don't be too off balance. There you go, good. Take one good step up, keep good pressure. Last thing you wanna do is start hopping backwards if somebody's advancing towards you, right? Get that good foot placement, stand your ground. There you go, good. Oh, I felt way more like firm in my feet. <laughs> good, all right? All right, good, good. Now let's put the stuff together, right? Like I said, it all uh, ties in with the techniques. So let's do it all together, okay? So we're gonna run through it all, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this, okay? I'll start off with the backwards break fall. I'll be here, backwards break fall, here, feet up. Okay, imagine somebody's coming towards you, they're trying to grab you. I circle my legs, hands up, here. Okay, and I set up to that hip drag position. Once I'm in the hip drag position, I'm gonna go to technical stand up. You can go to your knee or all the way standing, okay? So we're tying it all together, all four movements. So I'm here, backwards break fall, circle your legs a couple times, rock up. If you need to create distance, forward, backward. Now I can stand up. Okay, so one more time this way. Back for break fall. Circle your legs a couple times. Rock up. You can go forward, backward a couple times. And then stand up ultimately. Okay, so everything's running together. Does that make sense? Yeah, all right, let's do it. All the way down. So we're gonna start off backward break fall. Good. A scream at your legs. Circle your legs a few times. Rock up to a hip drag position. Go forward, backward a couple times. Then stand up. Good. Good. Let's keep, keep doing it on your own. No, thank you, sir. Oh, wait, was it? Oh, I think we dropped them. Our signal dropped, so we'll just do this a couple more times. <laughs> what was it? Do a couple more times while he joins. How you guys doing? Thanks for joining us. Look at the sweat. Getting there. All right, guys. Um, all of you that are participating, at the very end of this, I'll give you directions on how you can submit. Um, but if you are sticking with us for all three parts of our mini series, you are eligible to win a month of teaching classes for free, right? So we have some cool business partners that joined us. Oh my gosh, it's really warm. <gasps> At first, I was like, is it going to be a little warm up? I think this was the warm up. <laughs> so remember, you'll be able to watch these videos. We'll upload them to YouTube. We'll upload these to YouTube. So you'll be able to watch these, practice these with your family. 
So, all right. No problem here. Okay. Awesome. We're back online. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, you there? Oh, we're back. We're back. So we just went through all putting it all together, and we're sweating. Oh. <laughs> we're sweating. <laughs> it worked out perfect. We're about to take a break anyway, so you got a, a, a break. Good. All right, cool. Perfect timing. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna get into the techniques. Okay, guys. So remember, I said that everything that we're doing for this mini series is gonna be building blocks. Right, so we're going to be building uh, on top of each other, okay, with a good foundation. That's why we're starting off with the warm ups, make sure we have those solid before we move on, okay. So now everything's going to have a theme as well, all right. So the theme for this little mini series here, the very first one we're doing, is if somebody's coming to attack us, right, it happens all the time. One of the videos that you used in a promo uh, commercial video, Erica, was a guy backing up, an officer backing up, he ended up tripping and falling, okay? and the suspect film was on top of him quick. Right, so uh, what we're going to be focusing on is if I'm backing up, trying to create that distance from somebody, nice slip and fall, right? Which is never a bad, a good thing to be backing up. Or if somebody hits me, oh, unexpectedly, somehow I end up on my back. Okay, that's what we're going to be working on, which is why we did the proper backward break fall. Okay, so we need to know how to fall. We started off uh, baby steps, right? Learn how to uh, fall from a kneeling position, and then soon we'll get to the standing. Okay, but that's a premise of this first video is. Somebody's coming to attack us, right? And now we're backing up, backing up, boom, we're on our back. What do we do, right? So now um, I'm gonna have Laura help me, okay? And we're gonna be, okay, so now we're gonna be operating from three different distances, okay? So we're gonna start off, um, the first distance is gonna be a little bit farther away. Then we're gonna work on middle ground and then somebody's going right on top of us when we're on our back, what do we do, okay? So uh, in this little scenario here, Laura is going to be the bad girl and she's attacking me, right? So I back up, I back up and I fall, right? So she pushes me, boom, so I fall. So I do a proper backwards break fall. So I go here, boom, okay? Okay, now before she closes this, before she closes that distance, okay? Boom, here, okay? I have my legs up as that defense, okay? So I'm going to set up to that hip grab position. Okay, right away before she pulls that distance. I'd much rather be up on my butt in that position to defend myself than back here, right? It's much worse. Okay, so as I fall, I sit up here, okay? Now, whichever leg she has forward, that's the side I'm gonna step up to, or sit up to rather. So just for the, uh, the camera view, she's gonna step forward with her left foot, okay? It just makes it easy for you guys to see, all right? So now, a lot of the power in a kick would come from that rear leg, right? So that's where this comes into play. So she goes to throw a kick, boom, I'm here, I can block it, okay? If she tries to punch, boom, I can block it, okay? Okay, right here, nice and tight, okay? So now, whichever leg is in front, again, that's the side that I'm gonna set up to, right? So her left leg is in front, my right knee's on the ground, here, okay? So now, I saw you guys doing it a minute ago, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna lift up, okay? Now, if I wanna create distance, a couple different things I could do, I could just simply kick her. I don't know if you guys have ever ran your shin into anything, but it doesn't feel good. Right, so kind of the same concept. I'd come up here, boom, okay? Uh, I can also attack the knee, okay? If the situation arises and uh, I can articulate it, right? If I come up, boom, and kick that knee, right? Which well, should get her to back up, create distance, right? But for training purposes, I'm not trying to hyperextend her knee and break her kneecap or hurt her shin. So from here, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna lift up, I'm just gonna tap her shin. Okay, knowing that I can either kick it harder or attack the knee. Now I'm going to go to a standing position. Okay, I can either drop my knee, knowing she's still there, right? Being able to protect myself, have my hands up, or I can go to that full standing position, which already gives me that distance, right? Much greater distance. I could uh, reevaluate and then try to gain that compliance or resourceful force option if need be, right? But see how much more distance I have just by simply being able to hop up. Okay, so let's do it again. So we're here, she pushes me, boom. I fall, I sit up, right? Now I gotta figure out which leg is in front, okay? Which should come automatically after you practice more, okay? So I know that she has her left leg up, I'm here. I kick, okay, it gives me that distance. I can drop to my knee and stand up or come all the way to standing position here, okay? One more time, here, boom. 
here. Sit up, kick, create that distance. Either knee or all the way up here. All right, everybody good? All right, let's do it. Whoever wants to be the bad guy or girl in your scenario. All right, let's do it. So let's start off with the push or simulated strike. Boom, okay? Feet up, good, set up. Just figure out which side he has forward. Kick, protect yourself. Back up, back up. There we go. Good, good, keep going. Good, good, there you go, good. Whichever leg he has forward, that's the knee that you're gonna have down, good. All the way up, keep your head up, look at him. Look at the person who's trying to hurt you. Keep eye contact, never look down. Like that? There you go, Erica. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Good. Oh. All right, good. There you go. Oh. Kick with the bottom leg. There you go. So as she approaches, okay, choose a side. Kick with your bottom leg, Josh. It'll be a little bit easier. There you go. Now you can slide back. Yeah. The top leg just kind of jumbles your feet up is all. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's your size. There we go. Good. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. Let's call it there. Let's move on. All right. So now keep in mind, there's no end all be all technique, right? Uh, there's different ways of doing this stuff. I'm showing you a very basic baseline way of doing it. Then again, we could elaborate on it. Okay. So next one is I have a uh, court stand up. Okay. So now I had distance on that one. Okay? This one, um, I'm going to have less distance or almost at mid range. Okay. And trust me, it looks super goofy. But I promise you it works. Okay, promise you it works. I use it in uh, jujitsu environment. Just train people all the time. Know it's coming. Boom, you can hit it. Okay. So same starting point, right? I fall. She hits me. Whenever I fall back, boom, she starts coming forward. Now look, she's right here. She's almost at full extension on my legs. Okay. So, but I can't sit up because she's too close for that. If I were to sit up, I'm here. See that? That's the difference. And this is where the practice comes into play, knowing distances. Okay. So I know she's almost at full extension. So rather than put my feet up, because my feet right here are ineffective. Okay, we're gonna see how to do this next. Okay, so what I do is as I sit up, I hook behind her heels right here. Okay, so this is all gonna happen fast. I get it, it looks dangerous, but I promise you it's not, okay? So I'm here, I'm blocking behind her heels. As I sit up, I push her thighs right above her knees, okay? You pretty much gauge where somebody's knees are. So I'm gonna do is just blast her thighs. Okay, so I'm doing essentially tripping her, right? So I put my feet behind her heels to push her. She's gonna fall, right? So now I'm gonna choose the side. Right now we're in a 50-50 position, meaning that she can get up just as easily and quickly as I can, right? So I don't like those odds. So I'm gonna choose the side I'm gonna pick up and uh, stand up to. So for the camera view, I'm gonna go to this side. So what I'm gonna do is this, I'm dropping that knee. This hand stays here, right? She can't reach me, I can't reach her. Okay, but if she tries to kick, I can still block here. Okay, this is still my defense. I'm grabbing this ankle on the side I'm going to. Now, what I want you to do is I do this, watch her hips, okay? If I'm pulling on her leg, pulling on her hips, it's very difficult, being impossible for her to stand up, okay? Because I'm here, I pull this leg. Now watch her hip, I'm still pulling it the entire time, there's constant tension on this leg. If I try to stand up without holding on anything, it's pretty darn difficult. As long as I have control of this, it helps me stand up easy. See that? I go to my knee. Okay, now I'm just doing a technical stand up to my knee. From here, boom, right? She tries to hit me. But again, she's still off balance, so I'm lifting this leg. Lifting, lifting here. Now she fell with me. Even if she doesn't fall, I can completely disengage if I needed to. Right? But I have a better chance of standing up than she does because I'm blocking her. Okay, I promise you, you guys can try it. Whenever they start lifting and pulling on the leg, try to stand up on them. Okay, so we go here. 
Pull my ball. Okay, she pulls that distance. Boom, I'm right here right away. Okay, her feet are in line, which help. Okay, and we'll see what to do if they're not later. If I block, immediately push. Okay, I choose a side. For the camera, I'm gonna go this side. So I drop that knee down. This is my shield. This is my defense right here. I'm grabbing this ankle and pulling, pulling. Coming up to my knee here. Now we're just doing a technical stand-up. Same thing we already did. Here, okay? Now I'll do it a little bit faster for you. Okay, so this is how it should look as we do it. Here I fall, boom. Okay. Right, she's already on the ground, I'm pulling. Pulling, 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 all the way up, disengage if I need to. Make sense? All right, let's do it. Okay, since you close that distance, okay, hook there. Grab a side, grab an ankle. If your right knee is down, use your right hand to grab the ankle. Pop up to your knee, pull on his leg. There you go, pull his leg hard the entire time. The harder you pull it, the easier it is to stand up. Oh. Easier to stand up. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Boom, hook, push hard. Oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it, sit up that side, pull, 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 there, good. Slow down a little bit and do it again. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Look right away. You don't want them to close that distance. Push hard there. There you go. Pull, 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 pull. Keep your hand up for defense. Okay, remember, drop to your knee first. Don't try to stand all the way up. Drop to your knee, then stand up. There's a stopping point there. As long as you're pulling, that gives you that balance to stand up. If you're not holding on to him, it's going to be much harder. Good, control your legs. There you go, to your knee, there you go, good. So now, Erica, when he lifts your leg, I want you to try to stand up on him, okay? I want you to see how difficult it is. I see you. <laughs> there we go. Is it working now? Okay. Try to stand up on him. There, see, good, good. Make sure you lift with the knees down, good. She's aside, there you go. Stand up on America, stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, there, see, good, good. Okay. Very difficult, right? All right, good, let's move on. So now we're gonna work on, are you sweating? <laughs> so a break fall, like if I, okay, so Talk to me. members that are watching, uh, I didn't tuck my chin when I fell, so I like landed flat on my back and then I just like hit my head. I was like, oh, <laughs> like if that was the ground, like. That would oh, yeah, for sure, right? So to do it from standing position, what we're going to do is we're basically going to kick our legs out from underneath us and fall flat on the ground, okay? So. Uh, it's totally fine, right? But you, what you did is you didn't tuck your chin, so you found out the hard way, right? So you're probably not going to do that again. So uh, that's one way of learning, right? The hard way, I guess, but uh, you learn. So uh, we'll move on. Okay, so now the first one, uh, Laura was up here as a bad girl, and I had distance, right? Second one, uh, Courtney started closing that distance, okay? But she was still at full extension of my legs where I couldn't reach her, okay? But I was able to hook right behind her heels. Now this one is if I fall and boom, they're right on top of us. They close that distance quick, okay? This is where our legs, uh, a strema or circling our legs is super important, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hips right there on, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my heels right there on her hips, okay? So let's just a little bit, perfect. So I fall, all right, boom, she pushes, she pulls that distance, boom, right? She's right on top of me quick, okay? That's why it's so important to have my legs here. So I know I can't set up, Right? I know I can't hook behind because my legs are too big. I'm pretty flexible and it'd be hard for me to do this. Okay, but because I did the proper thing by keeping my feet in front of me, instead of throwing them up, I was able to block her. Okay, I'm blocking her with my uh, feet. Now I could, right? I could up kick, right? I could launch her back by pushing her, but if she's uh, committed to hurting me and already driving in, okay, chances are me pushing her and me sitting back up, she's gonna be right back on top of me again, right? So what I'm gonna do is this, okay? I have my legs are blocking her, okay? If she stays in a distance, I'm pretty safe, right? If I have my radio, I can use my radio for help or whatever it may be. 
okay? But if she still tries to close that distance, okay? She tries to me, I'm gonna bend my knees a letter. I'm not worried about punches, right? She can't punch me from up there. My legs are strong. My hips are on the ground. My feet are still in her hips. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab both of her ankles, okay? So be careful when you do this, because I can literally launch her across the room if I wanted to, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull her ankles back towards me and push with my heels. So I go from here, here. She falls, right? Now again, we're back in that almost 50-50 position, but this time I'm pulling her ankles, okay? So now again, for the camera angle, I'm gonna get up to that side. So what I do is I put my legs to the inside, I'm gonna sit up here, hip drag backwards. See how to hip drag to create distance for myself? That's why hip drag is so important. I'm here still, pulling her leg. Pull, 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 all the way up, okay? We'll do it again. So we're here, she pushes, I fall, boom. My feet are here, pull my blocker, right? I'm here. If I can't reach her ankles, I let her come into me a little bit. See, I drop my hips to the ground and just bend my knees. Now I launch her backwards, here. Okay, still controlling both of her ankles. Move my feet to the inside. Here, I'm gonna hip drag. Get the distance I need to. Now this is the side I'm setting up to as I pull that uh, ankle the entire time. Keep tension on that. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Here, she pushes, boom. Here, hips to the ground. Heels in her hips. Grab her ankles, push. Move my feet to the inside. Choose which side I'm gonna to go to, but again, for the camera, I'm going to my right. Here, I need to create distance. So I set up, pulling, okay? I can disengage if I need to. All right, any questions? Nope. All right, good. Scared to fall. I'm like super scared to fall now. There you go. Good. He closed that distance. Good. Grab those ankles. Push. Ah, don't just rock up. Use good technique. Turn your, put your right knee on the ground. There you go. Sit up to your knee. Hip drag if you need to. There you go. So, Erica, this is what happened. Okay, this is what happened. You went here. Okay, and you're too close. And you try to stand up into it, right? So, if I have that, Use that control on his knee to hip drag backwards a little bit to give you that distance and then come up. It's hard to do without holding on to somebody, but you get it. There you go, better, good. Here you go, do it a few more times. <laughs> there we go. Create distance, hip drag, there you go, good. Stand up. Good, good, good. Always make sure you have that arm there to block you in case they start striking. Good. Good, see, good. Very good, very good. Let's go and break right there. Okay. Now, I'll keep that one for the next one. All right, so now this one's very, very similar, okay? But uh, if somebody comes forward and they have their feet in line like that one, where they're trying to stand over you, keep that base, boom, boom, punch, okay? Now, as soon as you touch somebody's ankle, the first reaction is usually to try to uh, break that grip, right? Okay, they don't want you holding both their ankles, even if they're untrained. Um, you pretty much identify something's about to happen, right? So what we're gonna do, rather than pop back with both feet, which is unrealistic, usually people try to break that grip by stepping back, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work off that premise. The same thing though, now she's gonna be crowded, I'm gonna have my feet in her hips, okay? So we're here, I fall, boom, okay, she drives forward. Same thing, same thing, right? So I go here, okay? So now again, for the camera angle, she's gonna break this grip. So she breaks that grip that I had with that hand, okay? My left side did not move. 
My left side did not move at all. My left foot is still in her hip. My left hand is still controlling her ankle, okay? That's it. Now, I can't push and pull. She's not gonna go anywhere, okay? My right leg that was on her hip is ineffective because it just pushes off her hip at that angle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take my right foot. Now I'm gonna kind of combine it with the earlier one. I put my foot right behind her heel. Okay, see that? Now, what I do with that foot is as I pull, pull with my left hand and push with my left foot, my right leg is just gonna come out this way, almost like a pendulum, okay? At an angle, I'm not trying to pull it straight up. I pull it back, okay, an arcing motion. There, so from here, okay? So there's a lot of things happening in this one. I'm pulling with my left hand, pushing with my left foot, and pulling with my right foot, okay? So watch what happens. I go from here, here, okay? <laughs> so now she's on the ground. Okay, now the camera won't be able to see this. Okay, maybe we'll do it from another angle. Okay, but I'm still holding her ankle with my left hand. So now I wouldn't sit up and try to reestablish a grip with this hand, right? Because I already have control of my left hand. Okay, but I would sit up and block this leg from getting hit. Okay, I want to stay at the angle. What I don't want to do is sit up right here. Boom, right? So I sit up at the side here. Okay, I'm blocking this leg by pushing it, stiff arming it. Okay, now I drop my left foot to the inside. Okay, come up to my knee. And I pull with her left here, all the way up. Okay, I'll do it a couple times on this side, then I'll switch so you guys can see it on that side. So we go here, she pushes, pull my fall. Okay, pull my block, right? Get everything correctly. I grab her ankles, everything's good. She breaks that grip. Okay, what do I do? Drop behind. Okay, push with my left, pull with my right. Here, here. As I sit up, look, I'm looking at this foot. This is bad. This is real bad, right? So I got to be able to protect myself. So I'm sitting out at an angle more on this one. Out over her foot almost, blocking it. Okay? And I drop my left leg to the inside, sit up to my knee, pull her ankle as I stand up with my left hand. Let's do it from this side. Just uh, same thing. Step back to that one. Okay, so we'll do it from here. Okay, so she pushes. I fall. Okay, pull my block. Okay, everything's good. I grab both her ankles. Okay, she breaks that grip. Okay, I drop my foot behind her ankle. Push, pull. Here. Okay, I'm sitting up at a greater angle this time. Look, I'm getting away from this leg. If I sit up out at the side, okay, and back a little bit, look, she can't reach me anyway, but I'm not going to take that chance. Okay, I'm blocking it here. Dropping my knee to the inside. I'm still out at an angle. I sit up way out here. Pull, 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 stand up. One more time. Here. Block. Ground, she breaks that grip. Swim behind her heel, push, pull. Rock out at an angle, I'm blocking this leg. Okay, I'm staying back also, so she can't reach me even if she wanted to. Drop my left leg to the inside. Come up to my knee, pull, 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 pull. I'm up. Completely disengage if I need to. Any questions? <laughs> there you go, good. He's got long legs, but he won't be able to reach you as long as you sit out like that. It's good. Oh, wait, I was over. All the way down. Yeah. Drop your foot behind her heel a little bit more. That was good though. Good. Good. Grab his ankles. Even if you can't grab his ankle right away, say he just staggered the stance anyway. There you go. Uh, Okay, sit out, there you go. So Erica, when you, um, when you drop your foot, try not to stop at his calf, drop it behind the uh, heel. Reason being is if you block my calf, I'm gonna step out of it, right? Behind the heel, you pull it a lot quicker. Yeah, okay, do it again. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> There you go, good, let him come in.
Lower, 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 lower. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. Drop your leg to the inside. There you go. Pull, sit up. Sit up over your right side. There you go. Good. 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 <laughs> Boom, yeah, good. Drop your left leg to the inside. Sit up onto your left side. Block, block, block. There you go. Pull, 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 pull. Good, good. All right, good, guys. Let's go and break real quick. So let me keep you up. A couple things, okay, a couple things. Uh, just to uh, keep in the back of your mind, okay? If somebody pushes me, I fall boom, here. Okay, don't think, just because I said that we start off here, okay? That we start off here that I have to do this first. Okay, then wait for her to break that grip. Okay, if she approaches me, okay, kind of more cautious, just back up just a little bit, okay? Uh, keep your left leg back and step forward with your right. Just walk out at an angle like that. Perfect, okay? If they approach this way, I'm still going to do that, okay? So they don't have to first initially start off feet in line and then take that big dramatic step backwards. If they st uh, stand in a staggered stance, I can do this right here right away. Does that make sense? Okay, so don't get in the mindset that I have to wait for them to stand and break that grip on the ankles, okay? If they shuffle forward, standing in a staggered stance, boom, I just go right into it. Does that make sense? Okay, the other thing, like I said, try not to bend or pull right here. Okay, a couple of things. She can step out of this grip, and if I control behind her calf, then if I pull too high right at the knee, chances are I'm not going to trip her. Okay, so I go low, okay, real low. Look, she's already off balance. I'm barely pulling on it, okay? So... It just uh, just be mindful, you drop it all the way to the ground and then do it, okay? Try not to be uh, leaving it up here. It's just not as efficient, okay? It's technically not correct. Cool. All right, so before we uh, do anything else, Erica, uh, we have time to do a little bit of a drill, which I wanted to throw in uh, because um, doing these things in segments, they're pretty easy, right? Because you know what to expect. So I want to throw in a little bit of a drill because we have some time. Uh, but before I go on, I want to make sure um, there's no questions out there that we need to answer or address anything. Uh, I'll leave that up to you, Erica. No, I think it's good. I want to see the drill. Um, we're going to hop back on. It's the end of the IG Live. Um, you can only do it for so long. So I'm going to hop back on there. Go ahead and keep talking, and we're just going to roll. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, I'm just going to keep going while Erica does her thing. So a couple different drills we can do. Okay, to reinforce all this stuff. Now that you see, hopefully, hopefully you can identify all those warm up drills that we did. We used every single one of them during the techniques. Okay, so first drill you can do uh, by yourself, you don't need a whole lot of space for it, is going through all four of those warm ups. So I'll be here, number one, backwards break, fall here. Okay, keep my feet in front of me, ready to block or break a grip if I need to. Sit up to that hip drive position here. I can go backward, I can go forward, side to side. When I'm ready, I come up to my knee, come back down. Go to the other side, come up to my knee, go back down. Go back to the other side, go all the way to standing position. All right, so we kind of run through everything, both knees, and then uh, if you want to try both feet, alternate on each uh, rep, okay? So uh, again, it'll look like this. You don't need a whole lot of space, like I said, something like this at your house, okay? Go from here. Squat position, chin down, arms cross, roll, backwards break fall, feet up, okay? Don't let your feet swing. You saw the importance of that, okay? Circle, circle, set up to hip drag position. Backward, forward, switch, back, forward, backward, okay? Switch, I go to my knee, I go standing. Go back down to knee, switch to the other side, go to my knee, or go all the way to standing, right? So let's run through that just a couple times because the more important drill, well, not the more important, another drill that I really want to get into is next. So let's do the warm ups one more time. Let's go and stand up. Let's start at the very beginning, okay? Backward break fall. Go ahead. Okay. Circle your legs, control your legs, circle. Sit up to a hip drag position. Forward, backward, switch sides, forward, backward. Okay. Come up to your knee. Back down, switch sides, okay, come up to your knee, now standing, boom, that's it, yeah, so just run through that a couple times on your own, then we'll get on to the next drill.
Okay. All right, good, good. Now, let's move on to the next drill. The last drill that I have you guys do, or uh, I'd really uh, like for you guys to practice very much like dry firing, right? With your handgun, okay? You can do all this stuff at home with really without a partner. If you have a partner, this next drill uh, makes it way easier uh, for obvious reasons, okay? So we did three different distances. At distance to where I can create space and push with my leg. The middle distance was where I couldn't uh, effectively use my legs where I can hook behind their heels, okay? So my legs were at full extension almost. Next one is where I was crowded and my knees were bent. Right, so I had to pull them back or push them backwards by controlling their ankles because they're so close. So this is what I want you guys to do. I'll just use Laura for now. Okay, once you have your partner, okay, don't tell. Okay, don't choreograph it. Make them think about it. Make them work. Okay, so we're gonna go slow at first, just like you should go slow and build on it as you get better at it. Okay, so if you want, you can start off with the first one, then go all the way through, then switch it up. So we start off on the first one. Boom! She pushes. Okay, I sit up and create that space. Okay, and then we get all the way back up. Now we go all the way through that, okay? But the drill, after you get the reps down, you get the, get the hang of it pretty good, then have the, the bad guy, right, or bad girl, uh, don't tell you what they're about to do, okay? Either rush in, okay, stay at distance, okay? Uh, it's where they have to, the officer has to react appropriately, okay? So if I fall back, boom, here, look, she closed the distance, so I know exactly what to do right away, right? I can't set up, to hit drag. I can't drop my feet behind her uh, keels, so I know I got to do this one. Okay, so now it's sweep her to the back. Cool. And then run all the way through it. Here. Okay, next one, I'd have her do something else. Else, she didn't choose any of them. She can do that same one again. But I have to react appropriately with whatever she gives me. Does that make sense? All right, so let's do that. Let's, um, let's reinforce this by having run through all of them without telling your partner what you're about to do. Stay at distance, get in that middle distance, or crowd them. All right, on your own. Let's go. Uh, It'll be a little confusing at first. I get it. That's where the reps and practice comes in. Sit up on him. Sit up on him. Hip drag. Kick that knee. There you go. Or stand all the way up. If you have that distance, stand all the way up. Boom. There, Gary. Okay, good. Good. This is where the. Uh, this is where you really learn it. This is where you get good at the technique. There, Erica, good, good. <laughs> More times, keep going. You can trade off, you can trade off. There, react. There you go, good, good, Josh, good. There she crowds you, boom, go to the next one. Good, good. <laughs> Confusing at first, I get it, but you'll get the hang of it. This is where you really learn. This is where you get the reps in. A couple more times. There you go. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Good. 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 Keep your head up. Good. Good. All right, almost done. A couple more times. Oh, ow, okay, that was a factual. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurt. <laughs> All right, good, good. Finish up that last rep. There you go, Erica, good. Control, sit up to the outside. There you go, get up on the other side next time. That's good. <laughs> All right, good. All right, Erica, so that's, uh, all the warm-ups, that's all the technique I wanted to show. Again, it's basics, right? Basics, easy stuff. Uh, stuff that we can practice, stuff that we have to practice, we need to practice, we need to get good at, and you second nature. If you're relying on this, things went bad, right? Somebody's trying to hurt you, okay? You need to be able to draw from it right away. Keep in mind that when these things happen, when you have to rely on something like this, you're never gonna rise to your expectations, right? Never, okay? You're gonna rise or fall 
to your highest level of training. Okay, so you need to take training super serious, okay, because that's what you're going to end up uh, returning to whenever you need it. Make sense? All right, so um, I'll turn over to you, Erica, for uh, your cool down. Awesome. You guys, Josh, you did a great job sharing us those basics. I feel equipped, except for the break fall. I need to work on that. Man, that was... <laughs> Yeah, I got myself pretty good. Um, all right, so we're gonna do a little cool down, a little tackle ability cool down. Uh, my shoulders are feeling a little gassed from that. So we're gonna do a stretch. You're gonna lay on your stomach, okay? You guys can join me over there. You're laying flat on your stomach. Can you see me okay? Yeah. So you're laying flat on your stomach. You're gonna T-shape your arms out to the side with your palms face down. Turn your cheek to the left. You're going to bring your left hand close to your rib cage, and you're going to use that to roll over onto the side. Take your left leg, plant it down on the ground behind your right leg. Does that make sense? Your arm that's extended. If you have this at a 45 degree angle, it may not feel like a good stretch. So you want that arm directly out to the side, and you're going to stay here for a minute and take four deep breaths. Two more deep breaths. One more. Switch it to the other side. Left hand goes down. Right cheek or facing the right. Take that right hand up close towards the rib cage. Press it. Open up your body. Set that right leg back behind the left. Your head rests on the ground. You want that arm out at a 90 degree angle. And take four deep breaths here. Three more. Two more. One more. You're going to roll all the way over onto your back. <sighs> okay, this is one of our this is a really good spinal twist to do, especially if you're making a lot of like contact with the ground. Okay, you wanna loosen things up. So same kind of concept, you want your arms out to the side in a T, okay? Legs are gonna be bent, feet are gonna be placed. You're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna cross it over your right. And then you're just gonna let that leg travel towards the ground. It does not have to press to the ground. You don't have to force it to the ground. You're just letting gravity do things and your gaze is gonna go, you're gonna look the opposite direction of your legs. So we're here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more. Good, unwind the legs, bring the legs back up to this way. Good job, T-shape those arms again. Legs are bent. Gaze is the opposite direction. You're gonna cross one leg over, let those fall to the side. When you're warm, this is a really great time to do some of those deep stretches because your body can get into those positions and you have a lower risk for injury. So after you are done working out, you guys, it's a great time, stretch. Two more breaths. One more. Good job. Unwind the legs, bring the body up, come around, swing the legs in front. One last stretch. Okay, you're gonna have your hands back behind you. They can be, your point, your fingers can be facing behind or they can be facing forward, whatever's more comfortable for you. We're gonna cross one foot over. Okay, the closer your leg is in towards your body, the more difficult this stretch will be. The farther out your leg is, the easier it will be. So, bringing the leg wherever's comfortable, you wanna think about sitting up the torso nice and straight. So if you've got a rounded back, you're probably not stretching your glutes. So sit that chest up almost like, yeah, okay? We're here for three breaths. You're relaxing your shoulders. You can even start to move those legs from side to side really slowly. And you can feel like where the stretch is best for you. Okay, two more breaths. One more. 
Awesome. Unwind those legs. We'll do the other side. This is the last stretch. Okay, find out where it feels good for you. Because remember, not a rounded spine. You want a straight back. Bring that foot to where you want it. Take a couple deep breaths. Begin to like move your body. Ooh, this side is way tighter. <laughs> Okay, so you're slowly moving just two more breaths here. All right, let's unwind those legs. Awesome, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you all are joining us. Big thank you to Resilience, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu out of Azalea, California. Uh, we're talking, <laughs> um, I'm Erica with Tap Mobility. Um, like Josh was saying, this is a three part series. This was the first one. We'll upload it to YouTube so you can watch this stuff later. Feel free to bring this into your training day. When you are working at the department, bring it in, show up to your mat room. This is a really, really great resource. Shows you those basics. Like Josh said, we're gonna take our time to build on them so that you don't feel like you've got so much information that you don't know what to do with. And at the end of our three part series, we're giving away seven scholarships to police officers. So we'll give you cash to take to whatever Jiu-Jitsu Academy is closest to you and you can continue your education one month on our cool sponsors. Super rad. All right, take it easy, sir. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you all later. Good. Bye guys.